It's like amputated. Mm -mm. Do y'all remember the yellow pages and the white pages? <laughs> Uh, I know that on the internets now, there is uh, that YP.com, but that is not the real Yellow Pages, y'all, okay? The Yellow Pages is a book, and it is big, bright yellow, okay? Okay, the Yellow Pages is a big yellow book, and that is how you will get the phone number to your plumber. You will get the chimney sweep phone number. You will get the number to the local salon. You will open up this book called the Yellow Pages, and it was big, bright yellow. And on that, and in that book, there was phone numbers and addresses for different businesses that were local in your area. Okay, that's what the Yellow Pages was. Okay, so if you ever, if you ever want to know. Or if, you're, if your parents are ever talking about the yellow pages, now you know what the yellow pages were, okay? That's just a, that's just some, some old school information for y'all new school cats who are too young to understand. The internet has got y'all spoiled, okay? They talk about YP.com. That is not the original yellow pages. Or, or I don't even know. Is it called YP.com now? Or is it called Yelp? They didn't used to have customer reviews in the yellow pages. It would be just an ad where, where the companies had to just pay the money to get their advertisement in the yellow pages. You know, now Google has got it so that people can talk about their immediate experience of a business. It didn't used to be like that. You would have to spend your whole money, get the service, then determine that the service was terrible. There was no such thing as customer reviews. Talk about going to a place an hour ago and you got sick at the, at the food place because all of the food they had was bad. Y'all spoiled now. All right, so now I want to talk about the white pages, okay? So, the white pages was something entirely different. Same concept, different colors, okay? Listen, the white book was a smaller book. Now, that was a local book. And, to, uh, and where you could find out people address and a phone number, okay? So the white pages was that book that you would look at whenever, you know, whenever you would meet a guy. And now this was the ridiculous thing about it. Being in like elementary school, you determine that you got a little crush on this little boy or whatever. And then you know his last name. And then the little boy... Or the little girl give you their phone number and then you you turn around trying to look up their last name to determine what phone number man you would have a little crush or whatever right or let's say that let's say that a person was like oh i stay off of oh i stay off of uh oh i stay off of monte vista okay so you know that they last night you know that the little crush that you got his you know his name might be like lamar williams for example you gonna go look up Lamar, or no, no, you gonna look up Williams in the uh, white pages, and then you gonna look up, you gonna look at all the addresses, okay, and then you gonna narrow it down like, okay, uh, he said he stay on Monte Vista, so you gonna look at all of the people named Williams that go under the address of Monte Vista, and then you write all of the numbers down and then you would try to like weed it down so i'm stationary now so after you figure out that your little crush or whatever we just given a hypothetical crush name of lamar williams you gonna go look him up in the uh you gonna you gonna look up all the last name williams and then you gonna look up the address monte vista you gonna write down all the little addresses and you gonna write down all the little phone numbers or whatever and then what you used to do and don't 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 try to don't try to say that you haven't done this before whenever you about the same age as me i'm not gonna tell you how old i am but if you've done this before then we are about the same age so you write all the numbers down and then with your house phone, because you know people got cell phones. Now nah, you used to have a house phone because the house phone had a big old long cord and you could go wherever in the house with the house phone. 
So the house phone, you was going to take the house phone, go in your bedroom, or sometimes you would have to stay in the kitchen with the house phone with your little numbers written down, and then you would just call the numbers, call the different numbers that you got, and you would, have, you would just say, hi, can I speak to Lamar? And if the people would be like, you got the wrong number, then you'd be like, okay, check that off the list. That wasn't the right number. Okay, and you would just go down the list. Now, some people, you could do it a little bit more discreetly because you had a cordless phone. But if you had that uh, phone with the long cord, you, you couldn't go nowhere but stay in the kitchen. Um, or you would have problems trying to dial the number because with the, with the old school home phone, the phone, the actual numbers, the keypad, the dial pad would actually be on the receiver. So if you didn't have a cordless, you had to stand right there in the kitchen. And now this whole process was a little bit easier sometimes, like if you had a little crush and then you, you know, let's say like uh, for, for the guys, for example, let's say you had a little crush or whatever, she wasn't giving you her phone number, whatever. What you used to do is you used to ask the girl like what her parents' names were because it's, especially if they had a common last name like Williams. Sometimes you would ask the person, oh, like, what's your mom name or what's your dad name? And then they tell you their parent name or whatever. And that's how it will really weed down uh, the phone numbers and the addresses in the white pages. OK, you had to know the phone. You had to know the first name or at least the first initial of their parent. That would be the game changer in weeding down all of the names in the white pages especially for those common names that a lot of black people have like jackson Will